571 coming in with the MI alert. You are about to watch a life being saved. 59 year old female, sudden onset of severe chest pain, EKG shows inferior wall MI. Just 41 minutes from heart attack to a second chance. This is a reenactment of how Hazelton General Hospital and Lehigh Valley Health Network save lives. An MI alert is a process we have developed to identify people who are having uh, acute heart attacks or myocardial infarctions so we can open up the clot in their heart. The process that you'll see is the patient will be brought rapidly back into the emergency department. We're going to go ahead and take care of your pain. The nurses are going to continue doing what they're doing, okay? Sammy, can we get in here for the EKG? An EKG will be performed. Uh, that will be shown to the physician on duty. The physician will make an assessment of that EKG uh, and sometimes the patient's clinical condition as well. And at that point, make a determination that they're having a heart attack or myocardial infarction. At the time that we made that determination, we typically will start a series of medications uh, that can be provided to help alleviate their pain and discomfort and anxiety. Simultaneously make phone calls down to our colleagues at Lehigh Valley Health Network. We've got a 59-year-old uh, white female up here who's having an acute uh, myocardial infarction. I need to uh, fly her and get her down to the cath lab as quickly as possible. We can get them in line and in the process for getting them transport it down there to provide them the acute cardiac care that they require. The process has already begun. So when they go into the ER, many a times they're there waiting for the helicopter to arrive. Uh, the patient will be transferred to the ER, they'll sometimes do another EKG, they'll be in contact with our uh, interventionalist uh, or cardiologist at Lehigh Valley, uh, Cedarcrest, and they'll come up with a game plan for a patient care. Katie, when we get in there, we're going to be moving real fast. There's going to be lots of stuff going on. We need you to kind of just let us do our thing, okay? In the cath lab, the patient will be transferred to the table. Care will begin. It looks like you're having a heart attack, so we're going to have to get your artery opened up pretty quickly here. Do you have a height and weight? 5'8", 122. They'll access the uh, arterial circulation uh, through a sheath, uh, sometimes the groin or the wrist, and then they'll you know, introduce catheters, uh, wires and balloons, and ultimately fix the problem. Looks like we've found the blockage that's causing a problem here. There's a, uh, about a 95% blockage and then a 99% blockage in that right artery that we suspected. So we're gonna get that opened up pretty quickly. So we have the blockage opened up now, and we're going to place a stent, okay? So is going on. Okay, Katie, so here's the blockage we just fixed up. Here's the stent we put in and just repaired the artery, basically. You shouldn't feel a whole lot different, actually, not that we fixed it. The relationship between Hazleton General Hospital and Lehigh Valley Health Network is one of collaboration, where you're taking two of the top organizations from a healthcare standpoint, hospitals, not only in the state, but in the nation, and bringing those resources together to better serve the people here in the greater Hazleton community. What that means is we're able to bring resources that typically would not be available to people in a small community like Hazleton. Bring those to Hazleton so that you don't have to live next to a huge hospital in a major metropolitan area to be able to have access to that care. It's exceptional teamwork that is required to get really high quality health care. And the coordination that goes on between us and Hazleton General Hospital is exceptional care in that the EMS providers at first pick up those patients, communicate back to the emergency room, the physicians that meet that patient there, all the support personnel, the nurses and others that are coordinated and know what's coming can get this in motion even before the patient arrives at the hospital. One of the first relationships that we developed with the folks at Lehigh Valley Hospital was our MI Alert program. We looked at it and saw that we had a high incidence of heart attack here in our community and we worked with them to say, how can we best try to treat these patients better, get them the care that they need on a more timely basis, get them to the setting of care that they need to be able to receive that care on a timely basis. Because when you're talking about a heart attack in MI, okay, time is muscle. The fact that the national benchmark 
is to get that artery to the heart open within 90 minutes. 41 minutes is a near record, and when you consider that the patient arrived at a hospital that was about an hour's drive from here, 41 minutes truly is a record. In addition to getting them there, there are things that we can do here that are going to start that treatment protocol so that we are doing the things that we need to do here very effectively to make sure that that patient is having the best possible opportunity to have that great outcome, even though they live in a small community. It represents that coordination from the time the patient called 911. It alerted everyone that we had a heart attack in progress. The people at Hazleton were prepared to assess the patient. It was their judgment that this patient was having a heart attack, got the helicopter there, moved the patient here, they greeted the patient on the helicopter pad, moved them into the cardiac cath lab so that we can get that artery opened and preserve heart muscle. If you feel that you're having a heart attack, and this doesn't have to be something that's a certainty, if you think there's any indication at all, dial 911. Get them here to the emergency department at Hazleton General Hospital. We have the physicians, the nurses, the team, the equipment, the protocols, everything that they need in order for us to be able to save their lives, to give them the best outcome possible. Bring them here as quickly as possible.